Hello everyone, how are all doing this fine morning? So today is November 27th, 2010, and I have some updates to share with you. So first of all, um, about the weather. People have asked me to uh, make short videos uh, so that's on the Canadian weather that we get in uh, southern Quebec. Well, yesterday we had, well the roads were a sheet of ice, we had some freezing rain in the early morning, I saw a lot of people sliding and spinning their tires. Well, today I woke up um, maybe about 20 minutes ago, it's 11 p.m. as I'm making this video, and we got our first uh, snowfall, like completely. You can see my swimming pool's all iced up. Yeah, so I don't know, it's a come for 2010. It looks like uh, it might be a little harsh winter. Gotta get the snowboards running too, I have no idea if they start or not. Okay, so now the second update concerning uh, the tarantulas that I got, well, that I'm supposed to get from Justin. Well, I looked at many of the, uh, those responses to the comments, and you guys were uh, right. Uh, it was a good purchase, so I ended up do, did buying it. So I bought the female Platyama for Nicola, so uh, we have a mate. And also about the Bialbiceps, you know, I couldn't refuse it, uh, especially uh, for a Brachy this rare. I'd be a fool not to get it. So anyways, so I have to prepare the enclosures uh, pretty soon. So what I'm going to do is uh, the P. Platyama is probably going to go in uh, Marilyn's enclosure. Marilyn, as you can see, she's a 4-inch uh, Four and a half inch A calcodes, so the enclosure is a bit too big for her. So I'm sure a critter keeper, uh, sort of like uh, Sasha's, uh, is going to do well for her. And for the albiceps, I'm probably going to give it a shoe box enclosure, same uh, setup but that I have done. So yeah, very similar setup to this. So this will be the B albiceps enclosure. Awesome. So I want to thank everyone for giving their opinion on the female uh, P. Platyama, you guys rock. And I'm going to uh, pick it up this uh, Tuesday. So I'm going to also pick up uh, some heat packs uh, for the uh, T. Ocarty and P. Metallica male that I'm going to be giving on a 50-50 breeding loan. Uh, in case you want to know what 50-50 means is uh, when you give uh, your male to the owner who has a female, the responsibility is to send you 50% of their egg sac. So that's what I'm going to do uh, when uh, I'm going to be pulling out the H. maculata sac in a couple of days. Half those things are going to go to Clema, who loaned me his mail. Very awesome mail though. And 50% uh, is going to go to me and 25% of my share I'm going to be selling. And then I'm going to keep the rest for a future beating project. That's what I'm going to be doing for most of my teas. And, uh, yeah, so then I'll get the blue fang and possibly the e professence to see uh, how it is. And probably that will be uh, it for now for a while. Oh, and also I'm going to be picking up the uh, Vicolaria Metallica that was the replacement for the fasciata. So we'll have the, all the enclosure prepared already. So, uh, that's going to be great. So, when I pick up the uh, five new teas on Sunday, no, sorry, on uh, Tuesday, I'll f be doing an entire uh, inventory uh, arachno tour of all the teas. I think it will be the first of no, December. Yeah, so you'll get a view of how many teas I have. Right now, I have 121 with the five I'll get. is 126. Minus the two teas. Uh, the Ocarty and the Metallica. Um, I'll be making a separate video of those two. And also I'm going to give off uh, three uh, spiderlings to uh, the owner that wanted the uh, P Metallica. So they're still for sale, the, the T Geekus. You saw how big they got. So in Canada, I'm selling them for $18 each. Right now they're an inch, an inch and a half now. They've been eating like crazy, they're growing like weeds. Oh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.